Hi friends, let's see one more application with PIC microcontroller, PIC 16F877A. It's a very uh, simple application I am trying to explain, which is a robot design using DC motors and controlling with switches. So I already installed this MPLAB IDE within my computer. So just follow the steps how to create a project in MPLAB. So just choose the option project and choose the option project wizard and click on next. And here it allows to choose your microcontroller which series you are trying to work. Just pick 16F877A, click on next. And you can work with the different compilers tool suits. Now I am working with high tech universal suit. So I just selected this C compiler. So even there are multiple C compilers are available for this MPLAB IDE, which is PIC C compiler and CCS compiler. Okay, you can use different compilers, no problem. Now click on next and here you can go with the name. So you need to provide a project name, suitable project name for your application, which is robot and click on save and then after giving your project name click on next next and finish so here you just selected your target on which microcontroller you are trying to work now go file tab and choose the option yeah so this is the text window here you can type your program so anyway, for different microcontroller families, there is a standard header files. And you need to define your inputs and outputs with the hardware. So I'm trying to connect motor inputs with one IO. So I'm taking port D pins as RD0. So again, motor second input, which is given to RD1. And the next input I'm trying to define, which is second motor inputs given to the next two inputs of port D. So I'm using two DC motors to construct a robot. So the four inputs which are defined here and the switches I'm trying to take the next pins of port D whereas switch one this is for forward I'm taking only four switches for different directions, which are D5, and the next input given to RD6, and next input given to RD7. So these are my hardware connections with switches from the hardware. And then main starts from here. So you should go with the configuration by using TRIS register for big families. So whereas So F0, I am trying to give it four MSB are inputs. And four LSB are outputs. Okay, so and then, so I will start while loop here. 
So I'm trying to check my switch logic with zero. So I'll write if conditions with switch one as zero zero. So whenever switch one is operated from the hardware, the two inputs logics are very clear. So both positive lines of DC motors are ones and negative input lines as zeros. And whereas the second condition, so I'm trying to take with switch 2. If switch 2 is operated from hardware, so I'm going to change my direction. So as negative lines are ones of two motors and positive polarity inputs are zeros so that the motor will rotate anti-clockwise. This is for reverse direction. Suppose you are trying to turn left then make sure so switch 3 is 0 then one motor should rotate clockwise the other motor should rotate anti-clockwise. For that what I am trying to make it so first motor positive polarity and second motor negative polarity I am assigning once and first motor negative and second motor positive I am trying to assign zeros. This is for left turn and the last condition for right turn. So quite opposite to left turn operations, the second motor positive and first motor negative pins are ones. And first motor positive line and second motor negative lines are zeros. This is for reverse direction. This is my four conditions. This is for forward. And this condition for reverse, and this condition for left turn, and this condition for right turn. So these are my four conditions from the program. So this is the text window. Before that, just go file option and you will save. So you need to save your project in a specific folder. So now this my file name is robot.c. So you can add this file with the source file by choosing option add files. So this is my program name. And this is your build option or else you can go with the project and you can go with this F10 option. So I got many errors. We try to rectify this. There is a semicolon missing here and maybe while close and we should be very careful. This is a build option or else go with the project. So go with this build option. So still uh, errors. If we do any mistake with the program every time build
So this is I got zero errors and zero warnings from the program. Now you can design your hardware by using produce simulation tool. So you need to pick a different component, pick 16F 877A as a controller. Now I'm taking driver IC for DC motors and for inputs I'm taking buttons. From pick controller you should go with the pull-up resistors you need to add for inputs. So I'm taking 10k regular resistor for pull-up. So first I'm doing driver IC and motors connections. You need to I go for go to select the motor. So make sure enable and power lines are connected with power. And the ground lines are connected with ground. And you can connect your loads and output side as motors. As per program, you can connect your inputs. So you just configured inputs for port D, LSB lines. Four input lines. I just connected with LSB part of port D and four buttons you can connect through pull up resistors one for forward and another one for reverse left and right so connections are very clear you should go with the pull up resistors option So for each resistor, you can connect across here. So from IO pin, you can add this junction point. So the four IOs, which are connected with four buttons. Now I'm just adding pull-up resistors across each button. So the four resistors which are shorted with the power line. And across button you can give your connection. So one end of your resistor is connected with power and buttons other ends are connected with ground. So this is my hardware connection trying to do with and looking to implement my program with this simulation so just go with the same option from my computer to try and pick is my folder here select your hex file 
click on ok now you can play your simulation so initially all are zeros so whenever you are operating first button you can observe the status of two motors in forward direction and if you are trying to operate second button so then they change direction to anti clockwise so that robo will move backward and you are trying to operate third button so one motor should rotate clockwise another motor should rotate anti clockwise so it takes one turn and for fourth button opposite to third button operation so like this you can keep on operate your button and for individual buttons there is a individual response from two motors forward reverse left and right so you can design your own simple robot by using switches and dc motors combination this is your pic microcontroller programming using pic 16f77a i just implemented this application Thanks for watching.